I welcome you to this channel uh, with, the, with, with the bonus of God. I, I trust the Lord that God has a word for you this moment, this hour that you are about to hear from his servant. Every given time and every opportunity that you have to listen to the word of God, to, to, to make it effective so that you can be able to at, activate the spiritual angle of it. Because every word of God carry power and the word deliver, the word bring forth light. May God bless you and may God fulfill your heart desire. As you listen to his word through his servant. God bless you. You know, those days they kill, they don't forgive, no counseling, no nothing. They kill straight to the point. The law of love. You see, most of what we do as believers that we think is spirituality is just a marketing of flesh. There is such a, let me tell you this, you know you are growing spiritually to the degree to which you and your interest decreases. Where you are burdened with the purposes of the kingdom, greater than your personal desires. That was temptation number one. When Satan came to Jesus, temptation number one was your individual appetite. Turn this stone to bread. You are hungry. You need bread. Forget about your assignment and what your father sent to satisfy your hunger. And Jesus said, I've moved past that realm. The agenda of God is bigger than my personal hunger. Are we together now? Many of us, as prayerful as we are, everything centers around us. Not even your family members not even your wife not even your husband it's none of your business what happens to anybody provided i am hot then i pray if i am fine to hell with what is happening in the body respectfully speaking and with all due respect and honor to the body of christ even we men of god we have this spirit and we have mentored and taught members to walk like that whatever is happening to the church is not your business provided koinonia is fine provided we are growing whether a church is being born whether whatever is happening that's none of your business we are fine do not make the mistake of esther you know you are matured spiritually when you can receive the pain that is in the heart of jesus so that you find yourself fasting for three days over an issue that is entirely not your business god can trust you with the salvation of many and say listen in this family in seven days all of them are about to die this is what satan has programmed and there is the spirit that brings salvation hovers around the family there is no intercessor and he comes to you can i trust you for the redemption of this family and you can wake up in the night i can't be trusted lord what are we doing it's none of your business you just stand and while you pray angels come and you find out that by prophecy that family should die except listen don't fear negative prophecy when there is an intercessor no 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 there are only few prophecies in the bible that are called written judgments they can't be changed a bulk of the things that happen in our lives it is within the power of the believer to change if you know and understand god's system are we together now so the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations let's hurry up number one the law of love love for god and love for people the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to pray uh -uh. the intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to be powerful no love is the genuine biblical foundation for the intercessory ministry number two the second foundation for the intercessory ministry is the principle of shared dominion the second foundation upon which the intercessory ministry sits on is the principle of shared dominion psalms 115 and verse 16 
Psalms 115 and verse 16. Hmm. Yeshua. Ah, 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 you see, let me tell you this the church is an advantage, the church is not a disadvantage to civilization the house of god is where the mysteries of the kingdom are dispensed it is where high level spiritual understanding is given to believers i was glad he said when they said unto me let the house of god is not an interruption to your time it's an advantage to your destiny are we together behold i show you a mystery please give me that scripture again the heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men in theology we call this the principle of shared dominion now as you know the church and the believer has been given dominion but our dominion is not absolute dominion our dominion is derived are we together now that means to we depend on what we were given god's dominion is absolute dominion but the dominion of the believer is shared dominion and here's how god created the system please watch this that the heaven of heavens belong to the lords but the earth he has given to the children of men do you know what that means that means he placed man according to genesis 1 26 to 28 he gave man dominion over the earth and its entirety that means if god wants to do anything on earth and if satan wants to do anything on earth both god and satan must add men to the equation of dominion for anything to happen in the earth god has the power to veto man but he has limited himself to honor man by saying man as far as the earth is concerned you must become a factor to reckon with if anything will happen in the earth do you know why satan is powerful satan is powerful for as long as there is one unsaved person and one ignorant person this is where satan derives his strength the confidence of satan is based on the fact that he thinks it will be impossible for everybody on earth to be saved and everybody to come into the fullness of the stature so he knows provided there is one available vessel a legion was in one person this is satan's confidence he is not moved by the fact that many things are happening he's threatened but not moved because there is still one person he can deceive there is still one soul he can kill steal and destroy from there is a law called the law of territory that means you are not allowed to be a legitimate functionary within a territory until you are built with the materials of that territory are we together now you cannot go to heaven you cannot even enter the realm of the spirit with this body it has to change that is why when you are having a visionary experience it's your spirit that accesses that realm the physical body remains here when you dream it's not your body the body you see there is just a spirit body are we together now remember we can leave but we are not going with this body something will happen according to the authority of scripture when the trumpet sounds those who are dead in christ will rise first is that true go to the grave and see whether their bodies are there it's decayed already so another body would be given to them bodies incorruptible and we who are alive and are kept we will be changed are we together now yes the reason why demons the reason why spirits cannot function legitimately on earth is because they did not descend to the earth with a body 
a body was only made for Adam and his generation are you seeing that now if you know this you will now well, we have the mystery of deliverance coming so let me not hurry up I will be teaching you a deep mystery why people go to bed and see these spirits come to molest them I will teach you what they are looking for because spirits are genderless there is no male and female spirit so what is the appearance of that man that comes to you or that woman that comes to you there is a mystery and there is an explanation what are they looking for but let's limit ourselves to what we are discussing now are we learning already the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations number one the law of love number two the principle of shared dominion that means when it has to do with happenings in the earth it is not all up to god and it is not all up to man there is a participatory role that we have to play so don't look at the earth and say if there is a god in heaven this answers the question that people say if there is a god of heaven in heaven why is there killing and raping and maiming people i will tell you that part of the equation came as a result of man's carelessness are we together it is the reason why there are territories today that do not call upon the name of yeshua and yet there is dexterity and order within that territory because they took advantage of the principles of scripture that make for leadership and they replicated heaven within that territory the principle of shared dominion question what power does satan use to destroy man who can answer that question do you know what power satan uses <laughs> once have i spoken twice have you heard that all power belongs to the lord do you believe that scripture where then does satan get this power how come he is so powerful i will tell you it is not just because he was once a cherub that covereth it is not just because he deceived one third of the angels are we together now in as much as it is true you see one thing with light is that once you have received light light is like dna the memory and the imprint of that light remains with you this is why ah, do i should we talk about this now for God's sake. now watch this if i am a herbalist god forbid god forbid in the name of jesus I'm saying it on air so that you get it clearly because of the times that we live in. Listen carefully. It's just an example. Now watch this. Let's assume that as a young boy, I was introduced into traditional practice and they opened my eyes using divination. If I get born again, that opening will not close again. Are you getting now? Yeah what happens is just that the agency that sponsors that activity will change but that advantage remains with you completely <laughs> listen satan was once the light bearer the imprint of that light you see even though he's fallen right now it cannot be undone again like to brainwash the mysteries listen carefully there are three levels of accessing power the highest is power through intimacy relationship are we together now the highest level of spiritual power comes through intimacy the second level comes by accessing the mysteries of the kingdom there is a dimension of the power of god invested in mysteries you don't need a relationship for that to work all you need is understanding and the faith to engage it this is the kind of power that is used by herbalist and spiritualist those who practice divination 
what they are teaching them are things that are largely founded from scripture but empowered by demonic agencies that's why they fast too that's why they do all of these things too whether you are serving god or satan you will still fast is that true because there is something it can do to you remember the prophets of baal and elijah did you not see a similarity of operations between two of them and yet one belonged to baal and one belonged to god and all of them needed altars all of them needed sacrifices all of them needed fire to come down i hope you are we're still together this night yes if you do not understand the principle of shared dominion the devil will take advantage of your life and you will sit down and believe everything that is happening to you is the will of god satan will deceive you into saying look if it happens is the will of god just give thanks because you do not understand that the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given to the sons hezekiah would have said all right that's okay i've heard you hezekiah said no way i'm not ignorant as a king he turned to the wall and began to negotiate the law of love and the principle of shared dominion now for sake of time very quickly there there are there are two basic principles listen carefully there are two basic principles that govern prophetic intercession number one the first principle is you must discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories you want to become a prophetic intercession a intercessor you must understand discern and understand the controlling powers over regions and over territories daniel chapter 10 and verse 13 please look up there are many people who pray and pray and miss prophetic intercession is not just prayer request these are deeper levels of prayer that work with high level spiritual intelligence this was daniel remember when the angel came to him gabriel now he was giving him an explanation as to why he came late he says but the prince of the kingdom of persia withstood me one and twenty days but lo michael one of the chief princes came to help me and i remained there with the king of persia what was the king of persia fighting verse 14 now i am come to make thee understand what shall befall who thy people he was not attacking daniel he was attacking salvation that was coming to the people through the revelation that will be given to daniel and he discerned the prince of persia he kept praying he set himself to fast and pray for 21 days for the answer to come can i tell you this please look at me the bible does not leave the believer in the dark as to the fact that satan has an organized demonic structure this is not teaching or glorifying satan but it's the truth from scripture it was paul in his pauline epistle that opened us up to that spiritual stratification of demonic activities to the end that we be enlightened are we together now most believers are completely ignorant as to the devices of the enemy and we just wave it and say no problem jesus has died that's all right when they teach you in driving schools why do they talk to you about accidents and other things do they plan to kill you no but that awareness is important is that true you ask pilots when they train them they simulate different scenarios of plane crashes so that they build a management system around it the goal is not for them to crash but that that possibility exists in their entire time and it is better that they are enlightened do not be ignorant he said 
of the devices of the enemy satan has devices and many believers are ignorant and satan rides upon our ignorance to begin to cause us a plethora of catastrophes god is bringing light to us tonight in the name of jesus christ how do you know the controlling powers over territories look at me you study the controlling powers over territories by looking at the prevalent patterns that are within that territory you can know the spirits that control territories and please hear me if you're a minister of the gospel hear this and learn this so that when god sent you to a territory you don't just go and get a building or build and start you have to understand what you are confronting there are territories where you don't find old people there you get to a certain age range there is a spirit that cuts you off there are territories where you don't find children you find very old people but they renew their lives with children there are territories where it is the women that feed the men once you are within that territory as a woman you are the man and the man is the woman born again tongue talking but you find out that the men are limited the house is paid for by the woman don't feel bad i'm not i'm not trying to look down on you but it ought not to be so that is not god's order are we together now there are families where the parents are always greater than the children you can give birth to eight children the highest of them will become something you are not proud of saying no matter how hard working have you seen people travel to america after 10 20 years they return back like armed robbers they look like the spirit of the city there are cities you enter and you can remember everything from when you were a child nothing changed regardless and in that city they will tell you the best professor came out from that city in the best the it people people come out from that city to bless the world and yet the city does not change there are spirits that keep it yes sir how about spirits of poverty you hear that someone was doing well and just came to a city and he starts going down until he looks like the city You want to become an intercessor yes this also applies to families there are families where things don't work please don't i hope you understand what i'm teaching you now yes father was educated and serious mother was educated and serious all the children graduates grandchildren graduates and yet nobody can have a decent job the most successful person the longest person who worked there worked only three years go and read your bible now i hope you understand what i'm teaching you now i'm not trying to get you emotional if i mention a case that relates to yours i hope you understand that i'm just teaching generally do we understand now there are families for instance where the greatest people who represent the strength of that family always die the moment someone gets a job with nmpc and he says glory be to god he dies so you find a territory with weak people all the people that have the strength to bring deliverance there is a spirit that comes to cut them short you are not an intercessor if you do not understand the burden of the territory what are you praying over you don't just listen an intercessor does not say god give people jobs oh god give people children that's a child's prayer you come to the root of the problem the controlling powers many years ago you've heard it in my teachings many years ago i went to preach somewhere in northern nigeria it was a crusade a can crusade i think or, or something of that sort and through god is my witness I saw several something was happening to the women now I'm not a medical doctor but every time they gave birth they became deaf and dumb immediately not one not two not eight not ten I said I, well, I'm not a doctor but at least I have I did biology enough to know that this is what is the relationship between giving birth and becoming deaf and dumb 
once you see a prevalent pattern it is not sickness it is a spirit are we together there are family members where children of 12 years have high blood pressure what is the child thinking about you really think that's a disease no 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 even medical science tells us sometimes they trace certain sicknesses and they'll say does your father have it does your mother have it in the name of jesus let me speak over someone any pattern that will not allow your family represent the purposes of god i call upon the god of my covenant this night it lives your life forever please sit down i have seen patterns of poverty over families there are territories where the preachers never break through anointed they love god sincerely some of the the holiest godliest men and yet the territory does not open after 10 years 40 members it declines to 30 during thanksgiving it goes to 80 and you see the people saying god did you send me if only they understood that there are veils and there are gates over territories listen to what i'm telling you there are controlling powers over territories there are controlling powers over regions there are controlling powers over families don't you think the devil will just fold his arms and watch you and your children just go like that there is a pharaoh that will fight your exodus it takes spiritual intelligence to define your possibilities patterns of bad luck patterns of ill health patterns of widespread barrenness mother barren gave birth only after 10 years Father, um, brothers barren sister barren is a demonic thing there are patterns where things that are started never finish have you seen those kinds of things you will see a house they will tell you they started building this house in 1987 until now what is in a house that cannot be built you will hear that the person who had money and came to build it died there have you seen those things don't be afraid of what i'm teaching you is the truth you stand upon a territory jesus looked over jerusalem and began to cry why was he crying he saw that there was a spirit that casted blindness on the people oh jerusalem jerusalem he said if thou had known even in this thy time the things that pertain unto your peace but they are hidden from you the widow at nain there is a there was a pattern that kills all the men in her life her husband died her only child was about to die and the intercessor came and said no we have to change something here god is raising many of you right now because there there are age long some of them centuries old problems in your area and your grandfathers tried to do the best help them please they tried to do the best that they could do my god i sense such an anointing such an anointing such an anointing just help those under the anointing blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings will you blow 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 like a mighty wind blow like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings blow every sadness blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings 
hear me there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sanakata bakatos koto prende kata. Kileks keni matos koto prende katiya. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. hallelujah let me finish because we're going to pray tonight worship team get ready you will sing that my song for me again ah, my spirit is fired up listen you have to say enough is enough if not for your sake for your children on board i've gone through the pain already let innocent people not go through this again i've gone through the poverty i went through the pain of idolatry I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos. Kebrente ketes koto baskatia. Embreketa. Rekete kotos koto ketea. Rebas koto shanakata miyakata. Someone pray. You are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shadaka Bakatos, a Prokotos Koto Begete Lakapa, Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame. Wasting your money and your time. Remember what I taught you. He continued further. If and when unhindered, evil will always continue further. Hear me. Let me tell you this. I made up my mind and I made a covenant with God that everything I've suffered in my life it ends with me my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute I'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go pray pray
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please sit down please sit down just help those under the anointing now hear me please don't be distracted we are praying I want you right now as you are seated in one minute study the patterns you have seen in your family just think about it honestly study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from there are regions that have the spirit of anger there are regions that have the spirit of disunity there are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility it's the women that serve the men there are regions that have help them please Kabashkanikatosia widespread laziness oh 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 I can see with the eyes of the spirit and i see a mighty army rising yes i know they're rising in the thousands coming from afar coming from afar oh, oh, oh. hear me please listen carefully listen it was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here there is a spirit over that region you start a walk it does not last more than three years something must happen that brings you down you may still be there but you never maintain the texture of your glory there are regions like that I sought for a man who would stand in the gap. Woe betides a family with no intercessor. Woe betides a business with no intercessor. Don't you think because it's business you don't intercede? Woe betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors. Woe betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise Please sit down controlling powers I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like 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 a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring god's people into abundance and i saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory
Number one, please sit. Please sit. Discernment and the understanding of the controlling powers. The primary explanation to territorial backwardness is not the blindness of the people. Human beings are God's creation. They are not that dull. Only God would open your eyes to see the territories assigned over Nigeria. Don't you think Nigeria is just sitting free of attacks? Go and see the powers that reside in the sea. The powers that manipulates the elements of nature. A ministry like this. You think the devil would just fold his arms and watch? No, sir. But we look to Yahweh. Yahweh, our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord.